Welcome back. Well, tonight in Canberra, the Prime Minister is preparing to hand out the Australian of the Year awards. Representing New South Wales in the local Hero Award category is Broken Hill woman Josephine Peter. After starting her service to the community by helping the war effort as a seven-year-old, this vivacious and lively 83-year-old shows no signs of slowing down as her lifetime of volunteering continues. And we spoke to her earlier from Canberra. It's an inspirational story. Josephine, thanks for joining us. Must be a big thrill to be over there in Canberra. Well, it is, and it's, it's, it's a very big thrill, but it also is very daunting because I had no idea what was involved in uh, these awards, but I'm learning very quickly. Now, you started as a volunteer at just seven years old making socks for soldiers in the war effort, I understand. What drew you to it? Well, my parents were very involved with the Comfort Fund and uh, helping to raise money for the soldiers for the uh, Second World War. And because my mother was knitting beanies and she was knitting uh, gloves for the soldiers, Josephine decided she was going to knit a sock. But I really had in planned on knitting one sock. But um, my mother refused to take that one sock into town and for the soldiers and it took quite a few weeks, something like about four or five weeks, before she could convince me that I had to have two socks before she could take them into town. Once I did that second sock, I got on much better with the second sock. So after that, I just sort of went ballistic and they couldn't stop me from knitting. <laughs> So in the decades to follow, you must have, I guess, lost track of all the organisations you've helped out. Yes, I've been involved with very many and um, some for a very long time. So they vary from about 54 years down to where some I've only been in for, you know, 13, 12 years. So it covers a, quite a long time. So what keeps you doing it? Well... The one, the organisations that I support, I feel need help, and um, volunteering is very, very important, especially when you're in country towns, because so many organisations rely almost entirely on uh, the volunteers. Now, look, I'm only one of a very a large number of volunteers in Broken Hill. And when you think across Australia, there are just so many volunteers across Australia that it makes me wonder how they can happen to pick me out because there's a lot of wonderful people and they do spend a lot of time volunteering. Uh, perhaps because I started young, uh, I may have been doing it longer than quite a lot of people. But there's a lot of people, they have concentrated on one particular charity and they have been doing that for many, many years. So um, it's, it is important, not only in the country, it's the city as well. There's a lot of vis uh, volunteers in the city. When you think about all the sporting clubs and you think about all the schools and even health, uh, a lot of those uh, depend on their volunteers for getting equipment for their hospital. With the Flying Doctor, we provide uh, equipment for the aeroplanes. And our biggest uh, money raising for the Flying Doctors is our Christmas puddings. And we make 2,000 Christmas puddings each year. Uh, and we run a ball. We do other things as well. But they are our two biggest money raisers. We well, yes, volunteers do help this uh, country move, but tonight it's all about you. Obviously, we wish you all the very best of luck, and we'll be watching with uh, keen anticipation. So from all of us at Southern Cross News, good luck and uh, enjoy it. Oh, thank you very much.